Good morning, good morning. Waited. Good. All right, waiting another minute or so, and then we'll get started. Um, the sorry, I just saw your message. The Zoom classes are going to keep going at least through, um, I think, October 20th um, is this next session. And then depending on what happens, we will either we'll probably keep them going for um, through the winter, I would assume, um, unless things drastically change in the world. But the goal is to have this accessible to everybody for the foreseeable future. All right, we'll give it another minute and then we'll get started. All right, so a little power yoga this morning. Today is the first day of September. We're making our way um, into the fall season. So a little power to get us going here. Um, as always, beginning and end, yin style. Today, actually, as we get started into our power yoga, we're gonna flow through a few rounds of sun salutations, warm up our body, and then we'll get into the power. Um, lots of low back work, uh, lots of core work. So just be mindful and take adjustments as you need them. Otherwise, when you're ready, we'll go ahead and get started at mountain pose, um, standing at the front edge of your mat. So again, mountain pose. As we come here, feet hit distance apart, arms next side your bodies, palms facing forward. Find true length in the spine. So I say this constantly throughout our practices, really working on lengthening here, reaching through the crown of the head. Arms again, next side of the body, palms facing forward, shoulders away from the ears. You're welcome to close the eyes, starting to connect with your breath. So again, mountain pose. Hi, good morning. Eyes closed, arms next side of the body, finding that groundedness here into the feet. If you'd like to this morning, maybe start to take a sway or taking a circular motion clockwise and counterclockwise, feeling every part of your foot connected onto the mat. Maybe lifting the toes, spreading them wide and planting them back down onto the floor. Arms again next side of the body, palms facing forward. Let's take a breath in through our nose, and as we do that, bring your shoulders up to your ears, and on your exhale, bring them back and drop them down. We'll do that two more times. Deep breath in through the nose, shoulders up. On your exhale, bring them back and drop them down. We'll go one more time through. Deep inhale, shoulders up. And exhale, bring them back and drop them down. Find stillness, find that connection, find that grounding. 
from the feet to the floor. And just bring awareness to the body here, noticing the tension, the spots that need some attention today. And then we start to bring that awareness to the mind, noticing thoughts, emotions, stories, to-do lists. What is it that keeps popping in and out this morning? And let's just use one round of community breath to help quiet the mind, help settle the thoughts, the stories, allowing you to be here on your mat with me for the next 50 minutes. So begin with an exhale, empty your lungs. Take that deep inhale through your nose, fill the breath to the top, find anything you need to release and on your exhale, sigh out the mouth, <sighs> let it go. Coming back to your natural breath. And on your next breath, go ahead, begin to open the eyes. Inhale, reach those hands to the sky. Let's open up the heart. Exhale, cactus arms, gaze up. Depending how you feel this morning, if you need a little bit of a back bend, let those hips come forward. Maybe the head drops back. We stay for another breath. Inhale, reach those hands high. We're going to get right into the side body. Exhale, right hand, drop it down. Inhale, lengthen up on the left. Exhale, up and over to the right. Stay here. Work the stacking left shoulder, left hip. Gaze wherever is comfortable for your neck. Take another breath in. On this exhale, a little bit more length. Inhale, come back to center, both arms tall. Exhale, drop that left arm to the side. Inhale, lengthen up on your right. Exhale, up and over to your left. So again, find stillness. Stack the hips. Stack the shoulders. Right side on top of left. Take another inhale. On this exhale, find a little bit more space. With your next breath, inhale, back to center, both hands high. On your exhale, start to fold forward. We're going with that flat back gently, and then we round the spine here. Notice how close you are to the floor this morning. Are you a little further than normal? I know I am. So we're gonna take a little movement, pedal out those legs, getting into a little bit more, shake your head, take a rag doll that whoop, feels good to you. Swaying side to side. And then we start to create that stillness in this forward fold. Let's take a gentle twist this morning. So place your right hand down underneath the face and then slowly reach the left hand to the sky, bend into your right knee. So if that hand's not quite meeting the floor today, you can rest your hand on the shin or grab a block or a book. And then if you'd like to drop your left hand down to your low back, he's up and over your left shoulder. We're here for another breath. Inhale, left hand back to the sky. Exhale, we fold the switch it out. Bend into your left knee, left hand onto the mat. Reach your right hand to the sky. So again, bend that left knee option. Drop that right hand towards your low back. Keys up and over your right shoulder. If that feels good to you, stay for another breath. Inhale, right hand high. Exhale, fold forward. With your next inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, flowing through a little sun salutation. Plant your hands down. Let's step back into a high plank. Option to take it to the knees, shift forward to those tippy toes, take another breath. Exhale, slow down to the belly. Tops of the feet are flat, your breath in. Inhale, lift your chest. Stay in the low cobra to start our practice today. Deep bend in the elbows, gaze down at the floor, the mat. Take another breath here. Exhale, come down. Start to tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. We come to our first downward facing dog, cuddle those legs out, bend one knee and the other. Shake your head yes and no, some movement here. And then find stillness. Always the options to stay in tabletop if that works better for you today. All right, my friends, let's get into our right side. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky. Three leg downward dog, heel up, toes down. Option here to start to stack your hip. Right hip on top of the left, heel in towards the glute. Let's stay for another breath. Inhale, straighten that right leg. On your exhale, step your right foot up in between your hands, listening carefully. If you'd like to keep your back knee on the mat. Again, this is power yoga, so we're going right into it. With your next inhale, reach your hands to the sky. High lunge, hold it. Back heel forward, stay here. Take another breath. And on your next exhale, release your hands down. Step that front foot back, high plank. On your exhale, flow through, down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra upward or sorry, low cobra or full cobra this time, straightening out those arms, stay here. And on your next exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog, take a breath. Staying here, we're gonna start to lift that left leg to the sky when you're ready. 
On your inhale, reach that left leg high. Okay, take that down. Start to stack your hip, left hip on top of your right, heel in towards your glute. Another breath. Inhale, straighten your left leg. And on your next exhale, step your left foot up in between your hands. Hold it here. Again, option, back knee onto the mat or we're going right for that high lunge. Inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Find your balance. Back heel forward. Power up that back leg. Go deeper into your front knee. Take another breath. On your next exhale, release your hands down. We're stepping that front foot back. Again, high plank. Come forward to those tippy toes. Take a breath. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. Low cobra. Full cobra. If you're feeling it, upward facing dog. Press the tops of the feet to the mat. Lift the thighs off. Take another breath. And on your exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Take one breath here. On your next exhale, gaze up at those hands. Step, walk, jump your feet forward. Come to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And on your next inhale, come all the way to standing arms up and overhead. Slight back bend if you choose. Palms touch, hands to heart. Take a breath here. All right, we flow again. Inhale, hands to the sky. On your exhale, fold forward. We're using these sun salutations to warm the body. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold, plant the hands, step it back, high plank, we flow again. Come forward to those tippy toes. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, low cobra, full cobra, upward facing dog. And on your next exhale, downward dog, take a breath. Inhale, reach that right leg high to the sky. Again, option, start to stack your hip, heel in towards the glute, take another breath. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, step your right foot up in between your hands. High lunge. When you're ready, inhale, reach those hands high. So can you go deeper here? Back heel forward. Power up that back leg. On your exhale, deeper into your front knee. Another breath. Exhale, release your hands down. Step your right foot back. High plank. Make sure to come forward on those tippy toes. On your exhale, come down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. Low cobra, full cobra, upward facing dog. And on your exhale, you return to down dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, reach that left leg high to the sky. Start to stack your hip, left hip on top of the right, heel in towards your glute, another breath. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, step, left foot up in between your hands. When you're ready, inhale, reach those hands high to the sky. So again, on this side, back heel forward. Power up that back leg, get deeper into your front knee, another breath. Exhale, release your hands down. Step that front foot back, high plank. Flow through, exhale down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, low cobra. Full cobra, upward facing dog. And exhale, return to down dog. Take one breath. Gaze up at those hands. Step, walk, jump your feet forward. Come back to a forward fold at the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Arms up and overhead, slight back bend. Exhale, palms touch. Hands to heart center. Take a breath. All right, we're gonna do that one more round through. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant those hands, step it back, high plank. Exhale, come down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come back down, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog, return to that right side. Inhale, right leg high. Stack your hips if you choose, heel in towards the glute, another breath. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, step, right foot up in between your hands. On your next breath, inhale, hands to the sky. How can you power up here? Take another breath. Exhale, release your hands down. Step that right foot back. Exhale, come down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come down, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg high. Start to stack those hips, peeling towards the glute if you choose. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, step your left foot up in between your hands. Inhale, hands to the sky, high lunge. Again, how can you power up here? Another breath. Exhale, release your hands down. Step that front foot back, high plank. Exhale, down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, low cobra, full cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, come down. Tuck those toes. Lift your hips up and back, one breath. On your next exhale, gaze up at those hands. Step, walk, jump your feet forward. Come back to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, come all the way to standing. Arms up and overhead, slight back bend. Exhale, palms touch, hands to heart, last time through. Inhale, hands to the sky. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands, step it back, high plank. Come forward to those tippy toes. Exhale, down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come back down. Tuck those toes, lift the hips. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Stay here. Stack those hips, left hip on top of the right, heel in towards the glute. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Exhale, step left foot up. In between the hands, inhale, hands to the sky, high lunge. Take another breath, go lower, go deeper. Exhale, release those hands down. Step, left foot back, high plank. Exhale, come down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest. And on your exhale, transition to your downward facing dog. Take a breath, last time, last side. Inhale, right leg high. Hold it, start to stack those hips. Right hip on top of the left, heel in towards the glutes. Another breath. Inhale, straighten that right leg. Exhale, step, right foot up in between the hands. Inhale, hands high to the sky. Power up here, where can you go? Take another breath. Exhale, release those hands down. Step that front foot back, high plank. Come forward to the tippy toe. Exhale, down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra, upward facing dog. And on your exhale, down dog, take one breath. Ease up at those hands, step, walk. Jump your feet forward or back to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way to standing, arms up and overhead, slight back. But if you choose, palms touch, hands to heart. Take a breath. You should be pretty warmed up by now. Take a moment, close your eyes, reconnect here, settle the heart, settle the mind continuing to work on being here, being present, not letting that mind wander today. And with your next breath, on your inhale, begin to open the eyes, reach the hands to the sky, big toes together, face between the heels, it's taken into chair. Bend those knees, lift the chest, engage the core, navel to spine, hold it here. On your exhale, one time, getting lower, crown of the head forward, arms behind you. Start to bring those palms to meet at heart center. We're taking our twisted chair, right elbow outside of our left knee. Create the connection, stack shoulders, stack palms, stack elbows. How's that right hip as it's sneaking forward? Bring it back. Keep those hips low, take another breath. If you like to open those arms, feel free. Right hand reaching to the mat, left hand to the sky. If you've opened those arms, let's bring those hands back to touch. And then inhale, hands back to heart center, switching sides, left elbow outside of our right knee. Shoulders stack, elbows stack, palms pat, stack. Take another breath here. How's that left hip? Is it sneaking forward? Bring it back. Option stay or open up those arms, left hand to the mat, right hand to the sky, another breath. If you've opened those hands, palms back together to touch. Inhale, hands back to heart center. On your next breath, reach those hands to the sky, chair pose. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full plant the hands. Keep your right foot planted, lift your left leg to the sky. So standing splits here. As we're working into the balance, option to bend that standing leg. Otherwise it's straight. If you need blocks or pillows, place them underneath the hands. We're gonna stay here for a breath. We're going to work into the crunch. Exhale, bend into your standing knee. Left knee comes behind the touch. And then inhale, straighten everything back out. We're doing that three more times. Exhale, crunch. And inhale, lengthen. Two more, exhale. And inhale, one more time. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen, stay here, take another breath. Working a little bit on balance today, start to hug that left knee into the chest. And if you can, make your way all the way to standing. Hold it here. Knee is in line with your hip. Holding it high. Flex into that left foot. So if you're having a rough balance day today, those toes can rest on the ground, maybe on a book, on a block. Otherwise, we're finding that groundedness. Stay here, stay with me. When you're ready, on your inhale, reach your hands to the sky, keep that knee lifted. So just straighten the leg out in front of you, take a breath, we're making our way to warrior three. Slowly slide that left leg back, hands can switch out, hands to heart center, out to the side, airplane arms, or maybe arms straight out in front. Let's stay here. Work on bringing that back heel hip height. Use your core, find that balance, take another breath. On your next inhale, come back up to standing, hug that left knee back into your chest. Hold it here. If you fall, come back. Lots of balance work. Steady gazing spot. Work the core. We're gonna do that one more time. 
On your inhale, hands to the sky. Straighten that left leg, we balance. On your exhale, make your way to warrior three. Slowly slide that foot back, hands in front of you. Out to the sides, hands to heart center. Take another breath here. And on your next exhale, feet together to meet, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and on your next inhale, come all the way to standing arms up and overhead, slight back bend if you choose. Palms touch, hands to heart. Take a breath here. We're going back to chair. On your inhale, hands to the sky. Big toes touch, space between the heels. Bend your knees, sink your hips low. Take a breath. We're going lower. Exhale, crown of the head forward, arms reach behind you. Chest, belly lifted, hold it. Bring those palms to touch. Right elbow, outside of our left knee. Stack the shoulders, stack the palms. Stay here. How's that right hip? Is it sneaking forward? Bring it back. Option to open up those hands, right hand to the mat, left hand to the sky, another breath. Exhale, palms touch, hands back to heart center with switching sides. Exhale, left elbow, outside of our right knee. Stack the body, left shoulder on top of right, palms, elbows, stacking. How's that left hip? Is it sneaking forward? Bring it back. Take another breath. Open those arms if you choose. And then slowly palms back to touch. Inhale, hands back to heart center. Reach those hands to the sky. Another breath. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. All right, this time planting those hands, keeping that left leg planted. We're reaching the right foot to the sky, standing splits. So again, if you need two blocks to the mat, or blocks, blocks underneath the hands, bend into that standing leg. We're here for just a breath, and then we work into that crunching action. Exhale, bend into that left knee, right knee to the back side to touch. Inhale, we lengthen. Three more. Exhale, and inhale, two, exhale. And inhale, one, exhale. And inhale, hold it. Take another breath. Make your way to standing. Start to hug that right knee into the chest. Grab the front side of the knee, slowly make your way up. So again, if you fall, no big deal, come back. If you need to hold on to a wall, a table, or a chair, always feel free. Take a breath. Find that steady gazing spot. When you're ready, inhale, reach those hands high. So again, if you need to, toes resting on the floor. Otherwise, you're just straighten that front leg. We're making our way again to warrior three on your exhale. So like slowly start to slide that foot back. Hands reach out in front of you, heart center off to the sides. Hold it here, another breath. We're making our way back up to standing. On your next inhale, coming back through, hugging that right knee back into your chest. Take a breather here, reconnect. All right, and last time. Inhale, hands to the sky. Find that steady gazing spot, straighten that right leg. On your exhale, slowly start to slide it back. Finding that warrior three positioning, hold it here. Another breath. And on your next exhale, release the feet together to meet, we fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands, step it back. Move through a vinyasa this time. Inhale forward to the tippy toe. Exhale down to the belly. Inhale, lift your chest, cobra, upward facing dog. And on your exhale, bring it on back to down dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale here. Take another breath. And on your next exhale, we're gonna gaze up at your hands. Step, walk, jump your feet forward. And we're gonna take a seat right away, working into boat pose. So we're making our way into the core work and into our low back work today. So boat pose, feet are on the mat, bending into the knees. We're gonna slide our arms underneath our legs if you feel like you need that today. Really lift that chest forward, reach up through the crown of the head. Staying here, when you're ready, shift the weight into your sit bones, lift the feet off the mat. From here, we bring those feet in line with our knees. And then from there, arms off to the side. All options. If you're feeling fancy, straighten the legs, create that deep V shape. This girl ain't doing that today, but we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. This is the challenge. If you need to, take a break. If not, stay with me, stay lifted. When you're ready to come back, if you're taking a break, come back, but we're transitioning from high boat to low boat five times through. Take a breath here. On your next exhale, straighten the body out. We hover off the mat. Inhale, come back up, high boat. But if you need to, hands to the backside of the legs. 
We do that four more times. Exhale, come down, low boat. Inhale, come back up. Three more, exhale. And inhale, two. Exhale. And inhale. One more time. Exhale, low boat. We hover here, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Release everything to the mat. Take a breath. Placing the soles of the feet on the mat. Gently sway those knees right to left side. Release into your low back for a second. Hug your knees into the chest. Take some gentle sway side to side. And then when you're ready, start to reach your feet to the sky. Place your hands underneath that belt line of your low back. We're gonna work into some final core work. Charlie, sorry, first time the kids are sneaking in. There you go, go downstairs. Not yet, please go, I'm working. Ready? So feet to the sky, stay with me guys. On your exhale, we're slowly gonna drop the feet down for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover those feet off the mat. So again, those hands can be underneath the sit bones or underneath the low back. We're hovering for five, four, three, two, one. Bring those feet back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet back to the sky. Hold it here. We're doing that one more time. We're going back down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hover over the mat. We're here for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees into the chest. Take a rocker, sway side to side. Take a breather here. I'm gonna. All right, we're back in action. Sorry about that, guys. So hugging those knees into the chest. We're taking a little breather side to side. Option, happy baby arms between those legs to grab for the feet, the ankles, the calves. Draw those knees down on either side of the body. Rock or sway. Let's bring those knees back into the chest and slowly release the soles of the feet onto the mat. Hands next side of the hips. Last bit of work here, working through our bridge pose. So heels nice and close and towards the glutes. You should be able to brush the fingertips to the back side of the heels. We're gonna flow through our um, bridge pose first using our arms. So through next inhale, reach those hips to the sky. We're reaching arms up and overhead. And on your next exhale, lower the hips, lower the palms back to the mat. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, hips high, arms up and overhead. And on your exhale, lower the hips, lower the palms, two more. Inhale, hips high, arms up and overhead. Exhale, we lower and one more time through. Inhale, lift, arms up and overhead. And exhale, lower those palms. Stay here if you need to, take that gentle sway. Windshield wipe the legs right to left side. One more time, knees back to center, heels nice and close and towards those glutes. We're going to work more into that low back, coming into bridge pose. Inhale, lift your hips high. Option, stay here, palms stay planted or Tuck one shoulder and the other underneath the upper back. Interlace your fingers. Draw the knuckles towards your heels. So stay here. Find your breath. Option. Stay as you are or work the right foot in towards the midline and reach your left foot to the sky. Hold it here. We're going to pulse it out. On your exhale, lower your hips. Hover off the mat. Inhale. Reach those hips back high. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Lift. So that right foot still to the sky. Exhale. And inhale, let's go two more, exhale. And inhale, one more time, exhale. And inhale, right foot lifted, exhale. Or sorry, left foot lifted, left foot down to the ground. We're gonna switch it out, left foot towards the midline. Inhale, reach your right foot high, hold it. 
All right, option stay or move with me. Exhale, lower those hips, we hover. Inhale, lift them high. Again, exhale. And inhale, three, exhale. And inhale, two, exhale. And inhale, one more time, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift them high, take another breath, release that left foot down. Bring those feet back, hip distance apart. Lift those hips high. Final count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the hips down to the mat. Take that sway, release knees right to left side. Not babies, it's dogs. Sorry, my friend. Tuesday morning. All right. After you say those knees, let's hug those knees back into the chest. Let's take happy baby here, knee or hands in between the legs. Release the hips, release the groin. Take that gentle sway side to side. And then bring those knees back into the chest. Releasing the soles of the feet on the mat. We're gonna go leg by leg here. Hug the right knee in towards your chest. Straighten your left leg flat out on the mat. So start here, knee hugged in. Both feet are flexed, so active legs, active feet. And then let's bring that, <coughs> excuse me, right knee to the outside of the body, to the right shoulder. Hold it here. Inhale, bring that right, right knee back to center. Straighten the leg, reach that right foot to the sky. Interlace the finger to the back side of the leg. Stay here, another breath. And then hug that right knee back in. Take a twist here, left hand to the outside of that right leg, right leg or right arm off to the side to like position. Bring that right leg up and over. Option to gaze over your right shoulder, gentle twist into the neck. We stay here for another breath, releasing, calming the body. So working again into that more yin style of yoga. Take another breath here. And on your next inhale, reach that right, or bring that right knee back to center, hug it in. And exhale, release that right leg down onto the mat. Let's take it to the left side. Inhale, hug your left knee in towards the chest. Flex the feet. Stay here. <laughs> and then we're gonna open it up. Left knee, left shoulder. Making sure right hip stays on the mat. Open up those hips, stay for another breath. Let's bring that right knee back to center, straighten that, or sorry, left knee. Straighten that left leg, left foot to the sky. Interlace your fingers behind that left leg here if you need to, or if you can, grab the big toe or the calf. Stay here, active feet, another breath. On your next exhale, hug the left knee to the chest. We take our twist. Bring that left leg up and over to the right side. Left arm off to the side, two like position. Gaze over your left shoulder, gently releasing. Another moment. On your next inhale, come back to center. Hug that left knee back into the chest and then go ahead and release both soles of the feet onto the mat. We're gonna take pigeon pose um, on our back here. When you're ready, let's cross that right ankle on top of our left knee. Stay here, pressing that right knee away from you if you choose. Or right arm in between that triangle you made, left arm comes around. Again, interlace your fingers underneath or the back side of the left leg. Stay here. Hugging left knee into chest, so always mindful are those shoulders popping off the mat? If they are, we want to get them back down. If you can't quite get them down, bring that left foot back to the floor. Again, option to stretch the back side of that left leg by reaching that left foot to the sky. Let's stay here, a few more rounds of breath. And on your next exhale, <clears throat> slowly begin to release that left foot down. Release the leg and cross the ankle. We'll come to the other side, left ankle on top of right knee. Stay here, pressing that left knee away from you. 
So again, options to say seapied pigeon. Or if you'd like, slide that left arm in between that triangle you made. Right arm comes around, <coughs> interlace your fingers on the back side of your right leg. Let's stay here. Take a breath, shoulders, are they connected onto the mat? Another moment. And then if you choose, reach the right foot to the sky, straighten the right leg, getting that stretch in the back side. Hold it here. Another breath. And on your next exhale, release that right foot down and cross the left little ankle from the right knee. Take a gentle sway of those knees right to left side. We're gonna take a variation of um, supported legs up the wall. So options, if you're by a wall or wanna scooch over to one, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, just like we did earlier, you can utilize your hands for this. If you have a block or a bolster or a pillow, which I actually have a little pillow here, um, you can kind of slide it underneath. You can kind of, you can slide it underneath that um, sacrum. And then when you're ready, simply reach your feet to the sky. So I have a really small pillow here and it actually does a lot of work for me. So we just wanna ease it. We don't wanna be working hard to keep those feet up to the sky. So this posture, forward legs up the wall, helps reverse that blood flow from the feet to the heart. And then once you're there, we'll take some movement. Sway those legs, maybe creating circular motions, going clockwise or counterclockwise. You can straddle the legs. Again, movement for you here, maybe getting into the ankles, circling those feet again, clockwise or counterclockwise, releasing into it, get a crack or two of the ankles. Stay for another breath. Ah, a lot of cracks going on here. And then when you're ready, slowly on your exhale, you can begin to bend those knees. <clears throat> placing the soles of the feet on the mat. And then slowly lifting the hips if you have anything underneath it, remove it off to the side, bringing those hips back down to the mat. <clears throat> so before we make our way into our final Shavasana, we're going to come into Supta Baddha Kanasana, um, releasing our low back here. We did a lot of work into that low back today. So options. If you have pillows nearby, I would suggest just grabbing them just to see how this feels in your body. Um, I don't quite have a lot here for me. So as always, Sutta Baddha Kanasana, soles of the feet together, knees dropping off to the sides, right? So that butterfly-like positioning. Now, different variations in this posture. So if you have pillows, blocks, books, whatever, nearby if you want to grab them. Option one, a little bit easier into your body. You're going to slide those blocks, the book, the pillow underneath each leg. So you can see here I've supported it up. You can even, I mean, I could probably even use a second pillow. And this just slowly eases your body into this release. So instead of it being so dramatic, those knees just dropping off to the sides, the pillows will support it. And you can stay here for a few moments. Like if say you had two pillows, you can slide one out after a few moments to really just release into it, going slowly. Or maybe you have one pillow and after a minute or so, you slowly release that pillow out. And then your legs will start to drop even more so down towards the floor, towards the mat. So that's one variation using pillows or blocks or books. Now, if you're feeling you're into this, your knees are touching the floor on either side of the body, maybe you need a little bit more height. So bringing the knees back together, so lifting on the mat like we do in supported bridge pose, use your pillow, use your block, lift the sit bones high, and then again, feet together, knees off to the side, even the slightest bit of height. So I just have this one pillow here. I can feel the difference. This is getting more into the hips, the groin. We're getting into that psoas muscle that connects our low back to our inner thigh. Options with the arms. Hands can rest on the belly, feeling that breath connection. Maybe arms next side the body with your palms facing up. Or if you'd like, arms up and overhead, grabbing opposite elbows or wrists. If you're feeling this a lot today and you need to take the counter pose, so bringing the knees together and the feet as wide as the mat. If you have a pillow or anything underneath your back, just make sure to take it out. But otherwise, 
we're gonna stay here for another minute or so, really deepening into this release today. Use each exhale to soften the body, calm the mind. So again, we've been here for a few moments. If you have a pillow or two underneath the outside of the legs, maybe start to take one out and see how that feels. Are your legs able to drop down a little bit further? So pain, numbness, tingling is never what we're going for here. If you start to feel that, take the counter pose, knees together, feet as wide as the mat. Otherwise, I always share 15 minutes a day is the goal for this posture, this release. We're only gonna stay here for another minute. So allow your body, your mind to calm here. Use the breath. Guide it to the tension. Guide it to the noise. Another breath. And then slowly, as those knees are still off to the sides, is bring them back together to meet. Soles of the feet on the mat. If you have anything underneath that low back, lift the hips, bring the hips back to the mat, and take that gentle sway side to side with the knees. When you're ready, hug the knees into the chest. Take any final movement you need here. So maybe it's just a circle with the knees clockwise and counterclockwise. Maybe you like to roll up and down the length of the spine. Really getting into your low back, stretching out the spine here. Or happy baby pose, arms in between the legs. We grab for the outer calves, ankles, feet, big toe. Draw those knees to the outside of the body. Take some movement if you choose. Maybe you want to stay with stillness, really lengthening out the spine. Or perhaps you like to straighten one leg, the other. Maybe both feet come together in a pike-like positioning. We stay for another breath wherever you are. On your next exhale, let's hug those knees back into the chest, creating a tight ball, bringing your forehead up to meet the knees. And on your next exhale, begin to lengthen the body out, straightening the legs, arms next side of the body, palms facing up, shoulders away from the ears, legs nice and long. So notice that softness we've created in the body, that release of tension. Notice if you're holding on to anything still here in the body. Eyes are closed. Eyes are soft. We're gonna take a round of deep breaths here to help us release and go a little bit deeper into this final Shavasana. So let's begin with that exhale, empty your lungs. Take that deep inhale through the nose, fill the breath, fill the lungs. And a long, gentle sigh out the mouth, release, let it go. Coming into our final Shavasana.
slowly begin to bring awareness back to your breath. Maybe starting to create some gentle movement, wiggling fingers and toes, circling wrists and ankles. And always, if it feels good to you, reaching the arms up and overhead, coming into that full body stretch. Extend through the fingers, through the toes. Take another breath here. And on your next inhale, we'll make our way onto our right or our left side body into a fetal position. Letting your head rest onto your arm and stay for a moment. And then slowly on your next inhale, begin to make your way to a comfortable seat. So as you find your seat here, again, if you have those pillows nearby, this is a great way to kind of check in with your hips. So if you find that you take your seat and your knees are like way up in your ears, take your pillow, again, I have mine nearby, and then you can take a seat onto your pillow, just the slightest bit of extra height underneath your sit bones. It's gonna help you let your knees drop a little bit closer to the ground, releasing into your hips. So finding your comfortable seat, today I'm gonna end our class with a final release of tension for our neck. So I know for us um, here, we're back into, hopefully getting back into school. It's a lot of um, some virtual classes, some in person, uh, but there's a lot of tension being held in the neck, right? It's just a stressful time. So finding that comfortable seat, we'll start by dropping or releasing our right ear towards our right shoulder. As you do this, Again, lengthen the spine is always key. So really lift up through the crown of the head, even though we're dropping that right ear towards the right shoulder. So you should already feel that release on the outside of the left side of your neck. Now options are stay as you are, use your right hand, press gently to the outside of the head on that left side, guiding right ear closer towards that right shoulder. So you might feel a nice release there. Other variation is with your left arm, kind of lengthen it out, straighten it. And then utilize it as a lever. So you're gonna reach it maybe higher up to the sky, maybe keeping it down closer to the ground. But what you'll start to notice is that release of tension into the shoulder here. So we'll stay here for another round of breath, another moment. On your next exhale, release that left hand down if you lifted it. And then slowly guide your head back to center. If you need to take a little circular motion clockwise and counterclockwise, go for it. And then bring your head back to center. And we'll go to the other side, left your left shoulder, staying here. And utilizing your left hand, we're going to place it on the outside of the right side of your head. And we're just pressing gently. You're going to start to feel that lengthening, that release on the outside of the right side of your neck. With that right hand, lengthening it, straightening it out to the side. Again, this is an option. If you want to see that lever reaching that arm up and down, you might find that sweet spot where the stretch starts to go in towards the shoulder. Hold it here, use that exhale, stretch, release that tension. Another round of breath. If you've lengthened that right arm out, let's slowly begin to release it to the ground. And with the left hand, guide your head back to center. Hands resting on your legs, slowly take some circular motions with the head clockwise and counterclockwise. And then bringing your head back to center, we'll take a final neck release. We're gonna use our breath taking our gaze up to the sky and down at the ground or bringing chin to chest. So gazing forward first, really lengthen through the crown of the spine or crown of the head, lengthening the spine. And on your next exhale, I want you to start to drop the head down, chin to chest. On your inhale, breathe in through your nose, start to gaze up at the sky, reaching that chin all the way high. Feel that stretch through the front side of the neck. On your exhale, drop the chin, chin down, chin to chest. And on your inhale, lengthen up, gaze up at the sky. Exhale, release, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze up. We'll do that one more time through. Exhale, chin to chest. And inhale, gaze at the sky. With your next breath, slowly take your gaze forward. Hands resting onto your legs, palms facing down for grounding or palms facing up for energy. Slowly let your eyes close. Lengthen again through the crown of the head. How is that posture? Navel pressing the spine. Active seat here. Let's release any remaining tension in the shoulders and the neck. With our next inhale, bring those shoulders up to your ears and on your exhale, bring them back and drop them down the spine. 
taking that check-in one more time. We've worked the body. We released the tension in the body. Now it's that time to focus the mind. Is there anything lingering today? Anything you need to release? Let's use this final round of community breath, guiding that exhale to release anything heavy or holding on to you today. So we begin with our exhale, empty the lungs. Take that deep inhale through the nose, fill the breath, fill the lungs to the top. We hold the breath. Find anything you need to release, let go. And on your next exhale, sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Releasing anything, hanging on to you today. Finding softness, finding stillness, finding peace. Finding that deeper connection to our true selves. And slowly bring our palms to meet at heart center, ending our practice. The light in me truly honors, respects, and appreciates the light in each of you. Namaste. All right, friends. Thanks for your patience today. A couple of special guests. I think every family member came in. Uh, including Bella at the end of the practice. Um, if you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I will be back on Sunday morning for Vinyasa Flow. Uh, keep an eye on the schedule, classes throughout the week, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and great day. So be well. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one.